Dear students, now we the video of the Astrophysics, Terminal State Board, Magnetism Chapter. So, in the video, subscribe to so In this video, we are going to study about the Earth's magnetic field, which is denoted by the letter BH. The suffix H stands for the horizontal component of the Earth's magnetic field. And here, this B suffix E that is uh, Earth's magnetic field, the point P on the surface of the Earth. And uh, BE that is the Earth's magnetic field can be resolved into two perpendicular components. They are the horizontal component that is BH that is equal to BE cos I, where I you know that it is inclination. And the vertical component is uh, BV equal to V sine I. And dividing these two equations, we get tan I equal to BV by BH. Now, what will be the case at magnetic equator? This is magnetic field is parallel to the surface of the Earth, that is horizontal, which implies that the needle of the magnetic compass is horizontally at an angle of dip. I will be equal to zero. And uh, BH will be equal to BE. And uh, the BV equal to zero. Where this BH is a general component and BV is a vertical component. This implies that the general component is maximum at equator and vertical component is zero at equator. Similarly, if we want to consider the magnetic field at magnetic poles, the Earth's magnetic field is perpendicular to the surface of the Earth, that is vertical, which implies that the needle of the magnetic compass rests vertically at an angle of dip i equal to 90 degrees. So the first case, that is, when the magnetic compass, that is the magnetic needle of the magnetic compass is horizontally at an angle of dip, it is shown in this diagram. So here in this case, the magnetic needle is laying horizontal with the equator of the earth. Whereas the second case, that is at the magnetic poles, the magnetic needle is considered to be vertical with the equator. So in this case, I will be equal to 90 degrees and therefore the horizontal component will be equal to zero, but the vertical component will be B E. So the vertical component is maximum at the poles and the horizontal component is zero at the poles. So this is what you should remember about the Earth's magnetic field. In our next video, we will study about the basic properties of magnets. Thank you.